Hello, Greenbows, and welcome back to downloadable content. It must be Tuesday because it's Mod Showcase Tuesday! Before we get started today, I have to tell you that we're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers by Christmas, and I need your help. It's simple enough. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Make sure you're subscribed and we can smash this goal. So now, this Nomad Showcase is going to have a super requested mod that's finally come out thanks to scripting. And you'll have to wait till the end for me to show it to you. But without further ado, let's jump right in. The first mod we are going to look at today is Sheath Framework by Hugh Johnner. Now, Sheath Framework is, well, more of a working concept that happens in the background. So I'm going to have to show you it with other people's mods. And that's okay, because I have two swords to show you today, and they're both by Lyrium. So let's go into the sword category and scroll all the way down here. And let's first focus on the Kraken Scabbard. This bad boy is an absolute beauty. I use this all the time on the PC version. I used to use it a lot back in U11 and it just looks really awesome even on the quest. Let's go ahead and unsheath it. You'll notice that with sheath framework, I was able to easily pull it in and out. Now there's a little bit of clipping that's gonna go on with this one probably a work in progress. If you grab it and twist it, yeah, you're gonna see that clipping for sure. What you wanna do is just grab and easily pull out and up away from the scabbard. That's gonna make it look way cooler. And then of course you could easily sheath it. This is an awesome blade. Now let's take a peek at it when we imbue it. Let's first start with fire and imbue this bad boy. Doesn't that look awesome? Now let's do lightning. Oh, I'm excited to see it in lightning. Now that is a mystical glowing blade. And then finally, let's check this out in our boy gravity because gravity is always fun to use. There we go. It looks like I have like ectoplasm on the blade. Now let's try it out on some people like this dude. Oh, are you okay? Okay, he's getting back up. So now we can have unguard with this one. Swing your blade at me and prepare for un- oh. Well, he died almost instantly. What about you? How about I use my flame version with the little sheath here? Go ahead and swing. It's up to you to swing. And then once you do, sir, come on, <laughs> do something. All right, fine. I'll do something. Yep. And then get off the blade and then sheath it. Yeah. Let's check out the other sword. This one is called the Iron Peony, or Iron Peony, I don't know. I'm, I'm American, I'm obviously terrible with accents. But in my opinion, this one looks better on the quest and it unsheaths a little bit more professionally. You get a little bit less clipping out of this one, which I prefer. Just doesn't this look so awesome? And we have to imbue it. Let's start with fire. Oh yes, that looks supreme. Now let's check out lightning on this bad boy. I really like those decals that come to the surface. That is awesome. And of course, we have to do gravity. Yeah. Start to turn purple. More ectoplasm. Which means now we can fight more people. On guard, doofus. It's time for you to swing. Can you... Well, you can use the sheath like this to attack them still. Yeah. Quick stab. Sheath attack. And then we, you know, sheath it like a complete badass. So sheath framework is absolutely amazing. It runs really well on the quest and I'm so impressed with it. Good job though, huge honor. And to everyone making use of these, it's fantastic. And Lyrium, amazing work on these weapons. They make great use of the framework and I absolutely love using them. Up next, we have a working morning star by Anki UC. If you scroll down in your book, you're gonna get a Castlevania category. So let's go ahead and select that. And what you wanna do is just select the weapon itself, then spawn, not equip. Sometimes it gets stuck in the wall and you'll see why. So let's spawn that and look at this bad boy. We can grab it here. It looks great, but it has full chain and whip physics. So I'm gonna need to grab this piece too. Just take a look at this, man. You could spin it from this end with this one and this chain also has full physics. Extremely, extremely impressive. All right, guy, stand back, man. I'm gonna be spinning this around and if it hits you, that's an instant KO, man. Get him. What, dude, it spun around him? Oh, man. If you can get used to using this one, I feel like you'll be unstoppable. But right now, I'm very stoppable. Sir, come here. I'm... 
I stand corrected. I am now unstoppable. Look at this. I'm spinning it around. Baby, 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 baby. It's going to hit you. Oh, my goodness. He's knocked unconscious. This is so good. I need to know if I could sneak behind someone and do this. I spawned a guy right here, and I need to know if this chain can just yank him down. Because if it can, this is, brings a whole new meaning to blade and blade, chain, chain and sorcery. What happened? Oh, you moved! Oh, how? What? What did you even hear? Fine, sir. Um, can we at least... <laughs> chain grab! Okay, well, how about... Just let me chain you, bro. I, this is possible. I, it has to be possible. You like... <laughs> okay, fine. It's not technically possible to pull them, but now I can do my super power move. If I am using this, and then I hold this down the spell button... It turns to the fire version of it. Boom! No one stands a chance once the flame is lit. Just look at these clowns. They think they stand a chance. But when I start spinning this around, and it makes contact with someone, see, like him, it's all over. You too. I am Castlevania. Come here, I need to finish this. I am Castlevania to the moon, baby! All right, I'll tell you what. You guys have been really good rapscallions. So to finish off this mod showcase, I'm sorry I buried the lead, but it is the mod we have been waiting for for Nomad. We finally have Time Stop by Greenfire. <laughs> So Time Stop does pretty much exactly what you want it to. For some reason, in this little spell thing, it's called Teleport. I don't know why, but when you press the trigger, it activates. And now anything will be, you know, touched by that. But it's slightly different than its PC brother. You see, it stops everything directly where it is, which could be better or could be worse. So if I was holding this, I can now move it around. But if I cast it first, then it's in my hand, it like kind of like freezes for a sec. So it's keep that in mind. But let's create a volunteer. All right, doofus, come here. Yeah, yeah, just like that. And now I will freeze time and we will go really close to you. They still rotate though. It's not totally frozen time. Like if they've aggroed you, he spins around. <laughs> Stop spinning around. You're supposed to be aggroed. Damn. I just, I just stopped time stabbed you. You'll be okay. Stab. And then, stab. So that's time stop right there. And now, I will restart time. Okay, he got obliterated. Now, let's test out if it stops things like magic projectiles. So let's cast it. Then select fire and see if we can shoot this. Oh, it only goes to right here. Can you touch it? Boop. Wow, it gave me like a weird little lag spike when I touched that. That was interesting. Let's try that again. Cast fire. Oh, wait, that one actually cast it too. And it had some weird lag at the end as well. And you turned around? <laughs> don't turn around. And also, don't crash my game, please. Okay, so time stop. <laughs> Definitely does some weird things for sure. Let's see what happens when I restart time and he's inside the sand. Oh. Okay, so let's try it again. Freeze time. So it stops them dead in their tracks there. Now, let's try with a bow and arrow. I want to see how far this goes. Whoa, it does not like that. <laughs> you might not be able to fire a bow. It def it's definitely doing some weird things there. Whoa, my goodness. Okay, time stop and arrows. and Yeah, don't do that. No, definitely, let's not... Okay. Maybe if I try it from here? That didn't work. It's okay. I brought a backup. We have a backup. I have gun. So let's try gun with time frozen. You can see the bullet. I can see it like shoot through there. All right. Restart time. Oh, man, that looked cool. But I wonder if it's a distance thing. So you stand there. Freeze time, obviously. I'll walk 10 paces this way. Then turn and fire. So where did it stop? Okay, so it does go like a tiny little distance. That is so cool. <laughs> and then does it keep its trajectory when I press the button again? It does. And what happened to him? As I suspected, you know, we're still using a beta version of scripting, but definitely some weirdness going on for sure. 
and let's redo it. <laughs> just just a few years. So it's like it is hitting them, but freezing the projectile, but the hit scan version of it is still hitting them. That's pretty interesting. But you want to know what? Let's bring something into the dungeon and try it. So let's select outpost difficulty and let's just do it one star. I just need to feel this out. Uh, here we are at the dungeon. So let's do this. We're going to select our time stop one. I brought me the iron peony and I have a kraken dagger. So let's do this. I see them over there. So we're going to instantly stop time and I'm going to run. Still using my dagger here. They still face you, which is a little odd. They're still like ready to fight. Kind of. Unfreeze time. Instant death. That's fantastic. And now we're just going to keep going. There should be a guy sitting down here. So let's try this. Three two one now let's see if they are actually sitting yes it doesn't interrupt that animation so i can just put the dagger right here can i pick you up well yes we can i can easily escape you on your knees oh that was satisfying oh man there you go and now more mischief as we use unstop time what how did you live <laughs> we'll try that again I dare you. Swing at me one more time, fool. Okay, now we need a real thing. Pull pull out. Oh, where's, where's my sword? I unsheathed it somewhere. Uh-oh. Sword? Is that is that my sword? Okay, so that's bad. Doesn't matter, though, because I still have time. Stop! Yeah, you, you see, I blocked you just in time. Get it? <laughs> yeah, you guys absolutely need this mod. Fantastic mod. And we obviously saved... The best for last. Well, my friends, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Tuesday. I hope you had a ton of fun. And more importantly, I hope you download these mods. They are all linked in the description. And while you're down there, why not subscribe? It's free. Remember, we're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers by Christmas. And I need your help, David. Make sure you're subscribed. But other than that, I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content. And I will see you next time. Hey.